Can senior citizens learn Spanish? Yes, everybody can learn Spanish. Don't worry about your age. Take the challenge with us today. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We'll be right down. Okay. Jerry Brown here with Jerry Brown Travels. Lori here. In this video, we're going to introduce and we're going to take a challenge. Lori and I are taking a challenge. We've been getting by by not really uh, learning the language. And so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, start to take a course and learn a little bit of Spanish. Huh, Lori? Oh, yeah. We know this couple. They're very good Spanish speaking. Jimmy and Mai. So they start this program, Spanish and go Spanish and go so we're gonna try this course and of course if I can do it you can do it too yeah so what happened a few months ago as we were traveling around we met this great couple uh, Jim and Mai and they have this uh, program where you learn Spanish and so what I did is I went on the uh, uh, YouTube and I looked at it and I thought wow that looks very practical it looks like something that we could do not too much you know confusion very simple program and so we got excited about it and so we thought we would take the challenge and that's what we're doing is we're taking a challenge to see how we progress in our Spanish so what we're going to show you in this video is that we're choosing simplified things like as an example uh, food right Lori yeah yeah I, I like to know just go to the market and then know how to buy the food you know order the vegetable or something like that so it's very difficult for me when I go to the market I didn't speak the language and the people keep laugh at me <laughs> and of course over here it's such a good uh, humor so we laugh together yeah. and also we, we we're learning the numbers and money and that's very important because definitely you want to know if you're going to get the proper change back or how to you know uh, pay for things so we're learning more you know we do know some numbers but we're trying to ex, uh, you know some numbers like 50 60 70 the cinquenta sesenta sesenta I mean wow you know it's a tongue twister here so we're yeah and <laughs> And then also, uh, I'm going to take the challenge myself, and I'm going to order a meal in a restaurant. And so, uh, come along in this video, and we're going to show you. Now, what we want to do is we want to introduce you now to Jim and Mai. And let them explain what the program is all about and give you an example of how the program works. Do you want to learn Spanish and travel? Then you've come to the right place. I'm Jim. And my name is Mai. And we're two travel and Spanish experts ready to show you some of the coolest places out there where Spanish is spoken. We want to inspire you to learn the second most popular language in the world, as well as get to know the incredible cultures that speak it. So come along with us and we'll show you everything from how to order a meal in Spanish to cultural traditions like Day of the Dead. Learn Spanish. Travel the world. Nos vemos pronto. Hola amigos, today we're going to teach you how to greet and say goodbye to someone in Spanish. Now this is one of the most important lessons we can give you because whether you're talking to a taxi driver, a doctor, or friends, you're always going to have to greet them. Now not only is it polite, once you get it down, it will help you make new friends. But before we get started, don't forget that we are your resource to learn real world travel Spanish. So for this first part of the video, we're going to show you informal greetings. This is how you would greet someone, an acquaintance, someone you've met before, and you see them in the street, and you don't have much time to chat. This is how you would do it. Keep in mind that we have English and Spanish captions available for this video. You can turn them on if you get stuck. Buenos dias. Buenos dias means good morning. Only use this in the morning before noon. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. Use this from noon until sunset. The following examples are short conversations. We will first play the whole conversation and then break it down for you in English. Hola, Mae. ¿Qué onda? ¿Qué onda? ¿Cómo estás? Bien, ¿y tú? También, pues cuídate. Sí, tú también. Adiós. Nos vemos. Hola, Mae. ¿Qué onda? ¿Qué onda? A very Latin American way to say, what's up? 
This is used extensively in Mexico between friends. Only use this in casual or informal situations. ¿Qué onda? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Means, how are you? This is probably the most common way to greet someone after hola. Bien, ¿y tú? ¿Y tú? Anytime you hear a greeting, you'll probably hear this shortly after. It means, and you? It's polite to ask how the other person is doing. También, pues, cuídate. Cuídate means, take care. Sí, tú también. Tú también means, you too. Adios. Nos vemos. Adios, the old standard goodbye. Used just as often in Spanish as bye is in English. Hola, ¿qué tal? Bien, ¿tú qué tal? Muy bien, gracias. Bueno, nos vemos. Nos vemos. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Is a very general greeting. You can use this with anyone regardless of their age or how well you know them. It works just like the phrase, ¿cómo estás? Bien, ¿tú qué tal? Muy bien, gracias. Bueno, nos vemos. Nos vemos. Nos vemos is a common way to say, see you. Literally, we'll see each other. Just, we're sort of excited about this, you know? Yeah, I, I'm very exciting. So I didn't, uh, before I just said, nah, I don't need to learn, you know? And then right now it seems like this program is make me exciting to, to learn the other language. Of course, I speak four or five languages already, but you know, this Spanish is so hard for me to learn. So I'm gonna take it, this course and see how, how much I can get it. Yeah. Okay, so come along with us in this video. Well, today we're gonna to put Lori to the challenge. She has been studying this Spanish class uh, produced by Spanish and Go. And how many, how many days have you been studying this? Yeah, a little bit over 10 days. Over 10 days. And so she's been studying hard. She's been disciplined. She does it every day. I let you know that. And so what we're gonna to do today is take her into the open market here and give her the challenge to do some shopping because as you're traveling around Mexico, you want to know the language and you want to eat well. So this is one of the ideas is learning the food uh, and how to buy food is very important. So uh, come with us. We're going to go check it out and put Lori to the test. And I think they had to make a comment, don't you, Lori? Oh yeah, if you really like this, make a comment. Let's head for the open market and uh, follow Lori through the uh, uh, challenges of practicing her Spanish. Let us give you a tip. Practice what Lori does in this video. It makes it easier. You will notice that Lori is very playful. She's laughing, she's laughing with the people, she's laughing at herself when she makes a mistake. And the people are very gentle, they're very forgiving, and they laugh back. Well, the first I study Spanish, I learn the number and the fruit and the vegetable and then kind of shopping because you live here, you need to be sharp. You need to go buy your food. So that's what I learned, you know, just money, number and vegetable and fruit and grocery, total grocery. So that's how I learned my Spanish. See, what I will study is about the money right now. So when I come to the market like this, and I gave her 100 pesos to change. So right now, um, I get a change, 40 pesos. It's 40 pesos. So right now, I'm gonna order one of the um, watermelon, sandalias. Oh, una? This watermelon is 3 kilo. It's 1 kilo for 13 pesos. So this 3 kilo is 39 peso. It's, oh, it's about two dollars for this watermelon. <laughs> sun, sun what? <laughs> I forget the name. <laughs> Somebody say? Sandia. Sandia. <laughs> Sandia. <laughs> Champagne. What the 
Okay, well, well, what we have done is we stepped into a restaurant here, and it's my turn to practice my Spanish. What I've found is it is much easier than learning uh, what, in the past, that I've tried to learn Spanish. Uh, they, uh, Jim and Mai seem to give a, an outline and a very simple way of memorizing the word. So uh, let's get on, and I'll uh, place an order here and see how well I do. Yeah, let's see. Okay. So now let me practice here. So, amigo, let me have a amalete vegetariano, uh, sin cebollo, uh, frijoles, pan, con pan, si, si, and uh, cafe americano. Sin leche and the cafe americano. Okay, great. Okay, so what did I order? And if you know Spanish, you know what I ordered, and you can see if it was, you know, proper language or not. But what I ordered was an omelet vegetarian. I asked for no onions. Also, uh, I asked for frijoles, which are beans. And then the pan, which would be like toast, is what I asked for. Then I ordered for a coffee, coffee americano, and I asked that it be black. No milk, no cream. Sin is no. So sin leche would be no. Uh, is You wouldn't just say, no, I don't want to have cream. You would say sin leche. So, uh, what do you think? Give me a comment, okay? Now remember, it's I've just started the course, but I'm pretty... Also, what Jim and Mai have said, anybody who would like to sign up, uh, they, they're gonna give you a discount. And, and so, what you can see down below in our uh, description, down below, you'll see information about that and what type of discount that you can get. And so, we wanna thank the people that have participated in our Patreon. Uh, program and so we want to give a little shout out to them and thank them for uh, uh, being supportive of our YouTube channel so uh, thanks patrons yeah thank you patron and then thank you for the people who will subscribe and then do the comment before so we, we all will 
thank you to you and really appreciate so much to you to subscribe to our channel thank you Ayo. <laughs> what's that <laughs> <laughs>